Hi, I'm Maimon, and I'm sure that most of you have heard about how Pokemon Go have been stirring trouble about how it may have full access to your Google account. And while developers Neontic have said that they fixed the bug, some people are still uh, iffy and skeptical on this matter, so they want to use their Pokemon Trainer Club account instead. So let's start. So on the Pokemon Go app, and I've shown this on the iPad so it's easier for you to see. You, after it's installed, you click on the Pokemon Trainer Club and it prompts you to enter your username and password. But obviously you don't have that since you haven't registered. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna register. And that opens up onto the Safari or Google account. And then it requires you to verify your age which, um, because this, I'm gonna use a dummy account, I'm just gonna put January 1st, maybe, ooh, wrong way. And a way to scroll is to scroll to your year, since you're probably born before 2016, you gotta scroll up. So I'm gonna use 1990 as a basis, January 1st, 1990, and then you choose your country. Um, I'm in the United States, so United States. Then you continue. You need a username, password, and an email address. However, some people don't have an email address. So now we'll get to that. I'm gonna slide this back here. There. Okay. So. Let's move to a computer. You can also do this on, on um, you can also do this on an iPad or a, uh, like a Nook, but it's more easier on a, a computer. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the address bar and then you're gonna type in, uh, whatever email platform that you use, like, uh, Yahoo Mail, AOL Mail, but I'm gonna use Yahoo Mail for sake of demonstration. So search up Yahoo Mail and click Yahoo Mail. And then it prompts you to sign in. But since we don't have an account yet, we're going to click sign up. And then it's going to tell you to sign up. Since this is a dummy account, let's put let's put this dummy account. Oh shoot. Um, for some reason, it clicks off. Uh, then you... Well, uh, then you think of your own dummy account to use. Wait, can't use spaces. Um, I'm not sure how to verify it. I guess they'll show you it. But and then I'm gonna think of a password. Don't look. Um. You, it's optional to put in your mobile phone number, but you don't have to. Oh, wait, your gender is optional, but your phone number isn't, apparently. Huh, that's weird. But anyway, I'm gonna put January 1st, 1990. Uh, actually, I'm gonna see if mobile phone number is optional. Continue. This is required. Oh. <laughs> so, we tried to sign up using Yahoo and AOL, but it turns out that we need to use phone numbers to register for these platforms. Um, we don't want to use that to share our personal information, uh, which can be traced to us, and we live in a generation of security. And unfortunately, it seems like Gmail is the only popular pl email platform that you can register without using a phone number. However, we did some digging around, and I found, we found out that we can use a website called mail.com to uh, sign up without a phone number. So let's sign up. So anyway, what you do is you type in mail.com on the uh, address bar, and you press enter. Then you use your mouse, and you locate the sign up button, which is on the top right. Sign up. And then 
you go through the regular email registration process. You put in your first name and your last name. I'm using dummy account for this one. And you put in your gender and your date of birth. Sorry, <laughs> I had to close the door because my siblings were having a party. But anyway, on to the date of birth. I'm gonna put in what I put in uh, on the phone. January 1st, 1990. Now I put my country, I'm in the United States, United States, the desired email address, dummy account, this is a problem. So add numbers maybe, that's available. So you choose a password, so I'm going to choose a random one, don't look. Okay. And these are the password security tips, like mixed letters and numbers, lowers and uppercase, special characters like the asterisk. Then you retype the password. You have an optional contact email, but I'm not gonna use that. Then you have a security question. Um, you choose one of these. And actually, I'm not sure what to choose. So I'm gonna choose, what's the name, what is the name of the, what was the make of your first car, maybe. Maybe I'll put uh, something, but I'm not gonna tell you because this is security. <clears throat> anyway, um, you're supposed to verify your registration by confirming that you're not a robot, which some people do these days. And sometimes it's ice cream, sometimes it's storefront like this. And you have to get most of these correct, not all of them. Um, this one has a storefront. This one has a storefront. I think this one is a storefront, definitely. And this one is a storefront. This is a signs, I think. So verify. And I got it. Then I um, accept create my account. And then I'm going to put in my answer. So, so now you press accept create my account. Then you've got um, all the details here. Okay, so now you can uh, continue to your inbox. And then you finish for your account, but you can go click, you have to zoom, you have to zoom in really, really close. Go to inbox. And you've got it all set up. So now that we have all of this set up, now we can uh, go on with our um, creating our Pokemon Trainer Club account. So I'm gonna put in my username, uh, maybe no, oh, we can't put anything. Uh... Gotta check availability to make sure that um, you can actually use that username. So check that blue button to make sure. Then you make your password. Uh, hmm. But I'm gonna skip that portion. So the reason that I have to skip the password portion is because the letters appear as you uh, type it, and I, as I mentioned, it's federal law not to share passwords, and even though that just might apply to hackers, I don't want to incriminate myself in the near future, so I'm just going to skip it. So now, I'm going to input my email address, which is what I signed up for mail.com, which is uh, dummy account 2159 at mail.com. And you have to put this sign, which is at. You gotta press shift on your um, shift on your keyboard, and then two. But uh, anyway, you have to type that in again. And then you can check if the check this if you want to receive marketing email messages from the Pokemon company, but I'm not going to do that. Then you have terms of use, 
which I'm pretty sure a majority of you don't read. So I'm going to skip that. You don't have to scroll down. I just like to do that. Then you have to click accept the Pokemon.com terms of use. Then you continue. And you can save this password if you're on an iPad. I think that prompts you. But I'm going to say not now. And now you have the uh, terms of use again. Do the same process. And it's going to thank you for creating an account. So now, you're going to go back to Pokemon Go. Also, you can verify your account, but that's not important in this process. Then, oh, for some reason, prompts me to do that again. 1990. Submit. Pokemon Trainer Club. The orange button. Then you put your username that you put in. Um, yeah. Okay. Then you put in your password. Sign in. And then you're golden. Ten out of ten. So after that, you just have to go to the terms of service again. You can also check if you want uh, email sent to your email address, and then you accept. Hallelujah. But anyway, um, this video was made for those people who didn't quite get it on my last video, and I'm pretty sure if you followed the instructions on this video correctly and closely, then you can create a Pokemon Go Trainer Club account <laughs> easily. Um, and you also don't have to worry about security with Gmail concerns because you can use mail.com, which can't be traced to you. Um, and if you have any issues, then be, uh, be, uh, feel free to write down in the comment section what your problems are, and I'll be happy to answer. So, um, I guess this is goodbye. So, uh, this is me. I'm on the Pokemon Master, and uh, I'm signing out. Peace. Oh, and also, don't forget to look at my new videos, which are going to be featuring me playing Pokemon for Go for the first time on my dummy account at the beach. So, uh, yeah. Bye.